Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ria and this is According to Ria. As you can tell, this is not a vlog, but this is a makeup tutorial. So I'm getting back to my roots. Before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Thank you for tuning in. If you're old, thank you for coming back. It's the loyalty for me. If you want to see how I achieve this bomb of Valentine's Day glam, go ahead and keep watching. Hey y'all, I just want to start off by saying that relevant product information will be on the screen and then the rest of the information will be down below. So to start off, I'm just going to be filling in my brows using my NYX brow pencil. I prefer a pencil over a pomade because I feel like you can get really precise and get sharper brows. So that's just me. So I'm going to fill them in. And then I'm going to go in with my uh, Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 35 and use that to clean up the brows. my covergirl concealer this is my favorite concealer i typically use her under my eyes but i don't know i'll be switching it up sometimes so i'm going to use her as a base she's very full coverage and she dries very fast so you do want to work quickly as you can see that i was almost a goner um you're just going to build her up until she's where you want her and then when i go in with eyeshadow i'm not using a powder to set my concealer because i want as much color payoff as possible Y'all, this eyeshadow look was, yeah, we were struggling. I haven't done eyeshadow in so long, and your girl is rusty, like, rusty. But we pushed through, period. That's what we do, resilient, over here, yeah. So I'm going in with this cranberry color, and this is kind of like the base shade of the look. Um, you're just going to really want to blend this out, and this is the point where you figure out what kind of shape you want to do. So I don't ever like to go too high, um, and I didn't want this color to be overpowering on the lid so I started very low and then as you can see throughout the video it's gonna I'm gonna slowly blend it up a little bit more so I can get it to where I want it to be without it getting too crazy So right here, I went in with this lighter shade. In hindsight, you don't really have to do this. I just, mm, I see the girlies doing this like to further the blend, but honestly, I could have just used this same brush with no product on it and got the same effect. But if you wanna add the extra color, I mean, you can, it's the slightest, like the slightest difference. But if you wanna do it, you can do it. I did it. Um, this is just to create an even more seamless blend and have everything flow. And then I'm gonna go, okay, this is a new thing for me. I used some, what is that stuff called? That stuff they be putting on it. What is this called? Chow. I don't remember. Micellar water. <laughs> wow. I used some micellar water to kind of outline the crease. I don't really see the difference with this, but I mean, whatever. It's cool. Um, I typically just go straight in with um, concealer and cut my crease, but yeah. So I'm using this brush. Now my crease isn't giving sharp because I'm using this brush. I don't ever use, usually I use the same brush I use to clean up my brows, but I was like, oh, let me use her, she's right here. Mm, it's either that or I'm rusty, but I feel like she wasn't giving sharp, and so I didn't like how it looked, so you'll see later on, I try to kind of blend over that line, and I go for a more blown out look versus a sharp cut crease. I mean, it worked out in the end, but yeah. So now I'm just gonna go in with this flat brush. I'm basically just getting any of the excess product off the top, and then I'm gonna go in with this brush and blend out the edges. Come on, baby. 
All right, so now we're using the shimmery shade as a base. Now this color is so pretty, but as you can see, I'm like, okay, we're gonna do it real sharp, do a cut crease, and then I was like, nah. So I started trying to kind of blend that line out to give it more of a blown out look, like I was saying earlier. Um, then I'm gonna go in with a plum color, and the biggest takeaway from this whole video is that no matter what you do, in between colors, before colors, after colors, you want to blend, blend, and blend some more. Um, as you're gonna see, it's gonna get real messy or kind of messy because I know at the end I'm gonna clean this up when I do my face makeup, so I'm not really concerned about how messy it looks. So trust the process, essentially. So I'm gonna go ahead and catch this other eye up and then I'll be back. All right, so now that I'm finished with the eyeshadow colors, um, I wanted to give it a like sultry, smoldering look. So I'm taking a gel. Mm, I didn't really care for the gel um, eyeliner, but it was okay. It just wasn't as dark as I would have liked. And then here, um, I'm using this ColourPop shadow. It's just a basic black, but it's like a dark, dark black. With black, you want to be very, very careful. So start off very small, very, very small. So for this glue, I'm using lash glue. Um, I'm putting just a dab and putting that on my eyelids and then I'm going in with this Corlactic glitter. I've had this glitter for years. I wanna say since like 2017, never ever used her, but she is gorgeous. So I went in with this NYX liner. This liner right here is so good. She is so dark, I love her. I'm going in and doing my face. Let me just tell you, this Milk Hydro Grip Primer and the NARS Soft Matte Complete, oh my goodness, fire. So this primer is actually super duper bomb. Like she lives up to the hype. She grips, she grips. This is the Elf Camo Concealer. Um, I like this concealer. She kind of reminds me of the CoverGirl one that I used earlier, but you know, different concealers for different uses. So I'm just gonna use this to highlight. I hit all my places that I always hit under the eyes, down the bridge of the nose, the forehead, the cupid's bow, the chin. I'm taking the foundation stick, um, just really to bring color back because this, found, this concealer is very light. Um, I'm going to take my NYX brush, I think, my e.l.f. brush, and use that to blend out the concealer. This concealer, if you let it sit too long, it does kind of dry, so beware of that. Now I am just cleaning up because I want that shadow to be very sharp and defined, and then I'm going to go in with a different brush. That other brush, <laughs> she was mad dirty, and so when you get that brush dirty, she doesn't hit the same, like, so I had to, I had to improvise. All right, so once I have my eyes cleaned up, I'm gonna go ahead and continue to blend under the eyes. And then after this, I'm going to go ahead and blend out my contour. This isn't the brush I usually use, but I have no idea what happened to it. I'm pretty sure Piper got a hold to it, so we might not ever see her again. Now I'm going in with my Holy Grail, my NARS Soft Matte Complete. Now, I did OD. You do not need that much of this foundation. She is that girl for a reason. I went crazy and I don't know if I showed, but like throughout, I'm like wiping extra product off the brush because I went, I went crazy. I went too crazy. Like it just wasn't, it wasn't necessary for me to go that hard. Like I be forgetting these products, the good ones, you don't need a lot at all. And then I went in because I just felt like she wasn't giving bright. So I'm using my Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer. And I know some of these products. So I will say this is the XXSX07. Y'all, I showed the little cat because when I tell you, you only need a dab, a drop, because she will get crazy real quick. And she's a little bright, so you don't need a lot. As you can see, y'all, she made my face just pop. I love a bright under eye. I'm going to go in with that same foundation brush and just kind of get rid of the line then i'm going to take my um what is this what is this my sephora micro smooth and use that to set my entire face that powder is bomb now this is my juvia's play setting powder in the shade sahara and this is a um real technique sponge and this is specifically for powder she doesn't take product she doesn't soak up products so any powder that you use and put on your face is going to sit on your face so be wary you don't need to use a lot of powder because she she gonna set you she gonna get you set 
I'm gonna go in with the middle shade of this um black radiance contour palette I love her had her for years she probably should be in the trash but mm, if it ain't broke don't fix it this is a new product for me this is the elf putty blush yes it's a cream on powder but she gives so I'm not mad at it um you do have to build her up and I kind of forgot about that so as you can see I'm going in multiple times and like ramping it up this is the same berry shadow that I use Okay, y'all, so this is what I want to talk about. So I accidentally got that uh, I accidentally got that um, eyeshadow on my face. So all I did was take a spoolie and kind of like blend it off. And then I went back in with this sponge um, and used that to blend it out. I'm going in with this L'Oreal pencil. And I'm just trying to darken up the under eye. Later on, you'll see that I just like went real crazy. But that was like off camera. So, Hanging out the side of so this is me zooming in to show you guys. Then I'm going to take these Beauty Supply Store lashes and put them on. They came out fire. I love lashes. Like, and then I love bottom mascara. I like to kind of pack it on because it, it gives. ColourPop lippy pencil in the color CTRL control very very bomb now this lip Initially, I was supposed to use my ABH lipstick, but then I started like trying to experiment So I went in with the Kevin Aquan Concealer that I use under my eyes and as you can see it was getting a little ashy um, So I started kind of playing with it and you have to when you're experimenting you got, you're gonna have to be prepared to go back and forth So I'm going in with lipstick with liner with gloss um, So I chose this gloss and then I felt like it wasn't giving was too nude it wasn't giving pinky so I went in with a um, NYX butter gloss lipstick and I used that to kind of add a little pink to it and I think it came out pretty good I'm not mad at it at all as you can see I'm going back and forth with the lip liner because you have to next up I have highlighter this is my holy grail okay I don't this palette in general this is the um oh child let me not even lie I'm putting on the screen but I love this palette like oh my goodness she will get you right I don't even wear highlight most of the time but when I do this is what I'm grabbing, period. And you guys, this is going to be the final look. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I hope you guys enjoyed some different content. And I think I'm going to do more makeup videos. So I'll see you guys next week. You know.